Hello everyone, I'm just getting ready to show you how to add digital paper to your library here. So let's get started. So I'm just getting ready to go. I clicked on library and I'm getting ready to click on pattern. And this is where I'm going to put my glitter paper. I already right click on this folder here where it says pattern and I made a new folder and you just give it a name. So I'm just going to say, uh, I'm just gonna use this one and I can actually add on to this one, put another folder within this folder and I'm just gonna say for this one, chunky, chunky, chunky glitter. Chunky. I think that C is supposed to be there. Okay. Oops, chunky. So this is where I'm going to put the chunky glitter. So I'm gonna go open up a folder. And this is the, I had purchased this from Etsy. And this is all the glitter paper that I have. And what I'm going to do is click on this one and go all the way down and hold my shift key and click on that one and it highlights all this and I can drag all this at the same time which it says 42 let it go drag it down and let it go and now it's putting it in the chunky folder and I just want to remind myself I think paper number 42 that way, 40 paper 43 will be next to down, drag into the section here. <clears throat> Excuse me if my voice is a little deep right now. Um, I felt like I was, you know, getting a sore throat. I don't have COVID or anything like that, but the winter time for some reason makes my voice a little raspy sometimes. So, excuse me. Okay, so now I have that. I can go to 43 and click on, let's see, let's move this up some, and click on the green one here. Hold my shift key and hold the left button on my mouse and drag this down. So now it's take me up to 44. And you can see the number paper at the top of this where you see here. And it's going up to 86, so now it's 81, paper, 84, 85, and 86. So there you go. I'm not gonna do all these. I don't, I don't, I don't think I have that much left. So I just go ahead and do the rest of these hold my shift key I don't want that and I just drag it down here okay so I could just click on that, close it out, and now all my paper, glitter paper, is in my library under pattern, and I made a folder that says chunky glitter. And it's under glitter paper, but if I click this plus sign, it opens it up, and I have my chunky glitter, and I have my dripping glitter. Yeah, so that's how you add your digital paper to your library and you can also add clip art like I have clip art here I'll just click on that I have ballerina I have birthday which I didn't put that in there yet I have ice cream images I have number clip art which I didn't finish putting everything in and then I have unicorn and I have owls and I did unicorns 
and then I put owls in there because it's just you know animals or birds or whatever I just put it in this folder so if I click on that this will pop up and I can add another folder to this and add another animal if I want to within this so I what I need to do is put this one separate this unicorn I think I should make that separate hmm so maybe this is what I do I will let me see if I can rename this folder here to animals okay and then I just add an attachment there Wait, where did I put that I could rename this folder unicorn okay so now these unicorns right here I just click on it and I will drag it to this folder here now it's in the unicorn folder and I have my owl folder and this under both of them is under animals so I can constantly add by right clicking add another folder and say um, just say horses and you put your horses here so you go click on this find your horses in the file and just drag them over like I did with uh, the glitter paper so for those who ask me about how to add your glitter paper or anything else into your library, that's how you do it. Have a great day. Be safe and God bless you.